Hello and welcome again to Habibi's Home and Habibi's Durable Medical. And today, as we promised a long time ago, we are going to get to continuous glucose meters. The particular continuous glucose meter that we offer is the Freestyle Libre. We offer both the two and the three. A couple little differences for you. The Freestyle Libre 2, the reason we offer both is because the Freestyle Libre 2 is the sensor that we provide to folks that may not have a smartphone that can download the app to read this. So they would need a reader. The Freestyle Libre 3 is for our patients that have a cell phone that is capable of downloading apps, etc. Now, speaking of the apps, the first thing that you're going to need to do is take your cell phone, go to any application store, Apple Play, Google Play Store, and download the Freestyle Libre 2 app for this particular one. If you're getting Freestyle Libre 3, you'll do the same thing. And it has, as you can see by starting up the app, it has, tells you to apply your sensor. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and begin doing that. Now the Freestyle Libre 2, one of the things about it is it is a little bit larger than your Freestyle Libre 3. It also comes in two parts. The sensor, which is in here, and the applicator, which is over here. Now, the first thing that you want to do before you even begin to do this, and just so you know, I have pre-treated my arm we are using either an alcohol pad, an adhesive remover wipe, etc., because this sets up the skin to be able to hold the adhesive a lot better. We do also recommend washing the spot where you're going to put the arm. And if you wash your arm with soap and water, please allow it to dry for at least 45 minutes to an hour. The reason for that is your skin retains a lot of moisture. And if it's dry and it's perfectly able to accept the adhesive, your adhesive has a, uh, and your sensor has a far higher likelihood of adhesing to your arm for the two weeks or the 14 days that are required. So we've prepped our arm. Next up, we are going to open the applicator like so. Now, or not the applicator, the sensor. As you can see, there is a small black line on the sensor packaging. Next, we are going to open the applicator itself. Mm. Now, as we can see on the applicator, there's also a line there. And we're going to take that, put that in, match up the two lines. Push that in and pull it out. And our sensor is ready to go. And here's the next piece of advice. When you're applying this, don't reach across your arm or across your body like this. It, it doesn't give you as good as if you just lift your arm straight to the sky, take your sensor, hold it in place for a couple of seconds, like so. And then remove it and your sensor should be adhesed. Go always go and check it, make sure it's on there good and you're good to go. Now, the next step on this obviously is scan the new sensor. Boom, you get the check mark, it's going. Now here's the interesting thing. These sensors take a full hour to calibrate with your phone. So, while you're waiting for this thing to count down and get you taken care of so it's able to accurately check your blood sugar. If you need to check it with a finger stick, you might have to. I just, it, this is the same with the Freestyle 2 and the Freestyle 3. A couple of other little tips. I like to tell people to use their non-dominant arm, i.e. my left arm, I write with my right. Reason being, the number one way these things have gotten knocked off, according to my patients, is number one reaching into the washing machine to get wet clothes out and put them into the dryer. The number two way is they're going through a door 
and they bump at the sensor and knock it off. Now, I tell you this because, you know, a lot of the education ends there with just, here's how you use it and go on from there. Well, if you knock your sensor off, if the sensor malfunctions, if you get a funny reading on your phone, there's an 800 number directly to Abbott and you call them and they will send you a new sensor. They're going to ask you what sensor you've got and they're going to send you a new sensor overnight, FedEx generally, and they're going to send you a small envelope or box to send back your sensor. The reason Abbott does this is so that they can increase their knowledge in what goes wrong with these things sometimes, how these things work best, why they come off, the adhesive is wrong, and that way they can improve each generation of this item. Uh, we really do believe that this is the future of diabetes, and we hope that if you are in the state of Arkansas and have Medicare or Blue Cross and Blue Shield, that you will come see us at Habibi's Durable Medical and let us get you started on the continuous glucose monitoring uh, trip. Again, I wanna thank you guys for your time. We hope you'll subscribe. And please, if you have any questions, please message in. We look to pr promptly answer those as quickly as possible. Have a great day, we'll talk to you soon.